Hi, welcome to another video by O1TechStore.com. Today we're going to do some speed tests and also show the Freedom Talk portal using the new Apple iPad 3 with the high resolution retina display. So, here's the actual iPad 3 model, it's the 3G model. Um, the actual interface and stuff looks exactly the same. Physically, we're looking exactly the same as well as the iPad 2. Let's see, this is because this is 3G model, has your SIM card slot. On the actual, if we're going to general and settings, if we go to the about, it shows which iPad model this is. So you see it says model MD366B. So, first of all, let's put a SIM card in there. The SIM card we're going to use today is the Freedom Talk SIM card. These are SIMs we're selling on eBay. Where these are three gigs a month for six months SIMs preloaded already onto the SIM card. We're selling them for twenty eight ninety nine, which represents excellent value for money. So let's first of all pop this into the actual device. Okay, now what we need to do now is actually make sure if it's the first time you're actually putting a SIM card into your iPad is make sure your cellular data settings are on. On this particular SIM, your APN settings need to be free internet with no username and password. And also let's turn the Wi-Fi off as well. So as you now it's picked up the actual network, it says 3G as well. So let's do a speed test on this. For this we're using the speed test app from the actual app store. From speedtest.net. So let's begin test. Let's see, getting quite a good speed there. Download is hovering around eight odd megabytes, peaked at 8.10, which is quicker than most home broadbands. And the upload is around 1.5 megabytes, which is very good. Let's try this again now. Your speed um, would vary and fluctuate depending on how many signal bars you have and which area you're in. You see over here, we don't have full signal on the three network. We've got four bars out of five. Hence our speed will fluctuate as well. But it's still pretty good speed for data connection. And the other question we always get asked by our customers who buy Freedom Talk SIMs are, how do we register the SIM? How do we check our usage and data allowances? So for that, what we need to do is go to the Freedom Talk website, which is freedomtalk.co.uk. Once you're on the website, you need to click on My Freedom. And here you need to register your SIM card first of all. Most of the fuels are pretty safe and explanatory. The two fuels where customers do get confused about are the ICCD field and the telephone number. The actual ICCD field is the actual long number on your SIM card. And the telephone number you need to input in this box here is the actual telephone number of the Freedom Talk SIM card but take off the zero in the beginning and put it four four instead. So as we've registered this SIM card already, let's log into the back end. So yeah, so this gives you an overview. 
So it shows your telephone number. As a Cicada only sim, there's no balance on there. And your bundle. So that's this is the interesting part. If we click on bundle, it shows your bundle type, your activation date of your sim, what we used for this month, for your expiry, your current balance, and when your next bundle is going to be added on to. You can also look at itemized billing as well. For that, if you click on billing, and you can run a report here, you can actually put date ranges in this month, this week. So let's do a this month report. As see here, it shows you exactly when you use your SIM card and what sort of data you used on there. So that's the actual portal. So if we do recommend customers to log into the portal now and again, to see their usage allowance and see how much data they've got left. Thank you for watching. Please visit our website, I want and our eBay and Amazon store. Thank you. Bye-bye.